Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. We get asked all the time, what about the sear capabilities of your pellet smokers? Today we put it to the test. We did the Pit Boss, the Weber, and the Lone Star grills. We opened everything up, got them to a high temp, got that sear on some beautiful ribeyes. You guys wanna see this? Here we go. Alrighty, to get started, this piggybacks off a video we did uh, recently about the ribs. We used three smokers. We used the Pit Boss, the Weber, and the Traeger. After receiving a ton of questions back and forth, some of the questions have filtered in, why do I think a pellet smoker needs a sear zone or what pellet smoker do I have that has the best sear option? I believe it's the best bang for the buck. I love a good open flame, whether it be charcoal or some of these pellet uh, smokers offer that open flame option. So if I only had to choose one and that was the biggest priority, then I would choose an open flame style. So. Today we've omitted the Traeger because you can't do that on the Traeger. Uh, we do have the Weber and it's kind of like the hybrid, okay? It doesn't have necessarily the open flame, but since it's called the sear wood, it gets up to about 600 degrees. You do get a little drippage on the flavor bar. I thought it might be fair to add that one. But on that, we have the Pit Boss because it has a fantastic sear area. And we finally have the Lone Star. I get a lot of questions. Why don't I put the Lone Star in some of my uh, videos when I'm comparing them? But today, if you're only talking about searing, that's what we're doing. So we got the Lone Star, we got the Weber, we got the Pit Boss. And today's choice of meat is ribeyes. We got them from Costco, we got the prom kind. If you look right here, $16.49 a pound. I know for some people that's extremely expensive. We've mentioned several times that we typically get about six to $8 a pound for ribeyes when they go on sale, but that's not prom, that's choice. Um, a family of four, we just did a video on the Flat Top King about burgers. Is it worth it to buy the cheapest or be able to take like more expensive ingredients and combine them and then make a burger? So it's really up to your budget, but I thought this was a great deal. You're probably looking at 60 bucks for a family of four versus if you go to restaurants, it's gonna be well over 200, well over 200. So I'm gonna pick out the three best ribeyes. We're gonna pick out this one, this one, and this one. This one's just a hair smaller. I feel like they're all cut uniformly. They're all cut even. And then other than that, we are going to be rocking our smoking pecan pellets. You guys know I've been rocking those for a while, still on the bandwagon, love them. So uh, each pellet smoker is up to about 250 degrees right now because I just wanted to get those insides warmed. I didn't want to go from zero to 100 that fast. Um, we're going to fill up our cavities, our pellet hoppers uh, with smoking pecan pellets. There is some residual left over of each one. I wanted that to burn out. So it's an equal flavor, equal pellet for equal temperature if it offers. I'm gonna use a little duck fat for lubrication, maybe help some of that sear a little bit. Allow that uh, seasoning to stick. Shake that, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Fantastic on steaks. Get those sides and then do the same thing on the other side. In case you're wondering, the Pit Boss was up there in a hurry. The Weber lagged behind, the Lone Star is still lagging behind a little bit, but it's a lot thicker metal. Um, I'm not really worried about that. that temperature gauge is not necessarily above the fire pot. I know that when he sent me the uh, pizza oven, it can get up to about 700 degrees. So the pit boss says roughly a thousand degrees. And then the Weber, even though it goes up to 600 degrees, it's really close. Uh, and I know we get higher temps to that when we shoot our infrared. So I'm not necessarily worried about each temperature. 
We're just worried about sear. As you see this image, um, this will be the Pit Boss, this will be the Weber, and this will be the Lone Star, okay? See what I was talking about? On the Traeger, it's kind of protected, but on the Weber, you still get that uh, flavor bar and those sparks and that uh, fat still renders down and kind of catches on fire. And I'll show you the pit boss. Right above the burn pot. All right, so really quick, like a quick observation. The Pit Boss skyrocketed uh, to its uh, temperature way more than double, uh, less than half of the amount of time. It also cooled down a lot faster. The Weber and the Lone Star are still cooling down after 15 minutes, not a big deal, um, but just give you an idea for that. Second of all, I would like to mention, when you're talking about searing, um, Although the Weber does not have the open flame technology, it also allows you to have a larger surface area because the whole thing gets super hot. That's what it's designed for. It's more like a pellet style grill. The Pit Boss and the Lone Star, obviously you're limited a little bit more to what you could actually sear. Uh, maybe two steaks. The Lone Star probably has a little bit a better sear zone than the Pit Boss space-wise, but not by much. It really just depends on how you do it, what proteins you're using. So now let's get to the steaks. Really quick, uh, piggyback off what we just got done filming. This is a cowboy butter shrimp. We just did it out on the Flat Top King. Uh, I mentioned several times that that butter can be used for steaks or other proteins. It is absolutely fantastic. A little lemon heavy because we did the shrimp, but that would work perfectly for this. Just quick observation. This is just what I'm looking at. I try to pick the darker side of all three. The Lone Star Grills, like I mentioned, is going to be on the left, the Weber, and the Pit Boss. So the Lone Star has fantastic crust all the way around. Now, you could say that's the difference in the grate. I don't really think that. I think it's just, I, I truly, as much as I've cooked on it, I can kind of understand that. I think you get more flame to meat ratio, okay? The Weber, you don't get that flame-seared kiss, but sometimes you get a couple flare-ups. And we got uh, beautiful hash marks there. This is a lot better than my first time when I try to sear on it. I'm learning as I go. And the pit boss, the same thing. It's light on the sear, which is actually surprising. Um, typically on those pit bosses on the sear zone, you get some fantastic crust, but compared to the three, it's lacking a hair, but I'm really not knocking it. There is some still beautiful color. With that being said, I think it's time to try it. Any specific way you want this done? I'm just gonna cut them right in half.
I thought the, I think I mentioned it earlier, I thought the ironic thing is, no matter what temp the grill said it could get to, basically these steaks were done within a minute of each other. And I thought that was pretty neat. Um, the capacity of the pellet, hopper, pellet hoppers might change your opinion because when you're cooking at a high heat, you want to go through them pellets a lot. I think a premium pellet like that uh, smoke and pecan pellet works well. You have limited time to get that smoke on there, along with the idea that you could do a reverse sear. I mentioned earlier that we start off at 250. You could always throw a thick steak on there, get that smoke. You could even cut the temps down, change your smoke modes if you want to, pull it off, adjust your temperatures on your pellet smokers, and then sear from there. So, enough talk. They all look perfectly cooked. This one right here is super, super, super crusty. All right. Cheers. Second bite. It's great. <laughs> I have an opinion, do you? I think I do, but it's 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 so close. If so this is the deal. I think all three of them work fantastic. I would not be worried. Some people don't like flare-ups. I kind of like sometimes something flaring up. You saw that we flipped one time on the uh Lone Star and had that uh fire. I think that's why this was able to get a little bit darker. It's that natural reaction when beef touches flame. Um the pit boss can get that very uh sometimes it changes a little bit. But the Weber is going to protect you a little bit more because it's got that flavorizer bar. I did not think that any of those options changed the taste. Now, the texture, because I like that bark, that crunchiness, I like that. But, ironically enough, I didn't think the Lone Star had as much smoke as the other two, even though I thought they were mild. I agree. Really? Yeah. All right, it, so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> when it comes to the Pit Boss and Weber, I thought they were so even, it would be extremely hard to distinguish, distinguish the two. I couldn't imagine, we've done uh, things before where we used a, a pellet um, and then we tasted it side by side and then there was like a stark difference. That's why we've you know, chosen smoking pecan pellets because we truly feel like it's a great flavor. Even with a great pellet inside of these uh, smokers, side by side, um, the pellet would probably matter, would be my guess. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. If you had a uh, underachieving pellet versus a high achieving pellet, you would like that flavor because it's only on there for a couple minutes. So we did two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, and one minute. And that's all it took. So there we go. And you say two minutes, two minutes, explain that more. Uh, when I mean the two minutes, I just meant that's how long it took. So the two minutes on the first side, flip it two minutes, flip it back over two minutes, and flip it back over for a minute, and then let it rest. We hit about 122 to 124 degrees, somewhere through there on all three steaks, pretty much evenly at the same time. I personally do not think it matters. I think they all three sear fantastically. I do give the edge to Lone Star for the ability to create that crust, but I didn't think the smoke flavor was intense. Yeah. But you're talking about like one, like one, like A plus B. It's not like an A and D. Would is that yeah. fair? Yeah. And then the Weber and the Pit Boss, um, a lot more equal searing for the Weber. The Pit Boss is a little bit smaller. Um, but you get that open flame technology and that's what I like about pellet grilling. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. God, how do you determine which one you want? They're I all mean, great. look at that crust. They're all great. I like that spinalis. Yeah. <laughs> you want that bite right there? Uh-huh. Mm.